Oh, right. This is Frank Dragon Spear, and I am back with the next part of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, we just finished the saloon court where our friend Knuckles was, and now we're about to head off with Espio and Vector and see what they know about the murder. Excuse me. Now, as you probably know, if you're seeing this, you probably saw the first part on Tuesday. And right now, it is Thursday, so woohoo. So, let's hope. Excuse me. Woo! Just did the first video, so now, I'm trying to get this done before the week starts. So, let's get it going. Who murdered Sonic? In there. Wait. Who? What's with the picture frame right here? We can't fix it? My OCD viewers is gonna be. be so annoyed by it. I'm annoyed by it. Someone needs to get up over there and fix that picture. I don't care about the books, I need the picture fixed. <clears throat> so. Let's do this. Let me see here. Just go. Oh, look. Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. There's a book. Wait a minute. There's a book club. I thought this place was only for events only. Well, I guess a book club is an event. Huh. Who knew? I would love to join a book club. Actually, I'm in the middle of reading one. Gone Gale. <coughs> Excuse me. Should have done some vocal warm ups. Book of the Month Gone Gale. I'm gonna leave it on that. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. So just leave it all alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Oh, my sugars. Oh. Here we go. Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books! But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Hmm. Well, I mean, a little peek when it hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles, excitingly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in the train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but still. Every book on this shelf is in alphabetic order, but this one... Homage Express Manual. Oh, cool. It's the user guide to the Marsh Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Marsh Express Manual was added to your inventory. So to Espio. Fancy a poem. Can I get a fun bad space? Epic! I love these guys! They're so cute! This one only has a halo and these ones have four. Okay. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't weep too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Can we get one about trains? What OB? How about trains? I like trains. So does Lady. If she was here right now, she would say, I like trains. Locomotive. In motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, 
there was my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Uh. Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled. Though I ignored the grumbling tumbling, for the eggs I received were scrambled when asked for my eggs sunny. Don't listen to this, chow! It's okay. You don't have to listen to this, sweetheart. You ignore him. You should be ashamed of yourself. And the poor baby phoenix. Oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you, lot. Hang in there. Chow hangs precisely from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really need to see this. Huh? This little Chow's hanging there, refusing to use its wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this Chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Oh, the doorway! Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Oh! It's unlocked because of Amy. Wait a minute. Just listening to music so he didn't even notice. Alright. Oh, I just noticed the queue out. Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's Lock is added to your inventory. Oh, there's the conductor. Oh, and they scribbled Sonic. Hmm. So Sonic CO he's KO'd. Oh, look at this! Here we go. Oh, for sure! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, oh. Sammy, look at this, there's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. How my leg. I have a good overhead map, let's take it. I love a good overhead map. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this for sure about a cave too? Look, there's stick stalus uh, sites. What is a stalus site? Can someone please tell me? But let me give me one moment. Stalus sites. What are the? Okay. It's how is it said? Hold on. Stalactite. 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 <clears throat> okay. So they're hang that hanging icicle things on the cave tops. That's what it is. Oh wow, they're actually pretty. Okay, that's what they were. I was so confused on what in the world it was talking about. Like I thought it was something like a like an item or something, like, or a building. Hold on, let me double check my kid. Oh good, he's good. Wait! Why didn't no one tell me you were- You're in- Can we just move you over here? So we can see Sammy. Thank you. Just gonna- Zoom you up a little bit. There we go. Now we can see Sammy's cute face. That way we won't be in the way. Okay. 
had to fix him. Should we? Oh, wait. Okay. Not leave it. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espia to find out what really happened. We're not done. We need to look at all of this. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I am actually, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop uh, at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area. It makes one scrumptious sandwich. I bet it's a pickle sandwich. Does Professor Pickle? Pickles? Are you related to Dave Pickle by chance? In Rugrats? I must know. Oh my god. Crossover. It makes sense. It doesn't. I'm just, just kidding. Ignore me. And we'll just go cry in the corner. But I can't. I gotta do this video. So let's do this. We got... How long do I got? I got 19 minutes. Let's do this! I'll keep that in mind. Thanks! This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? The trash can! Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there was nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Sammy, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No. No, I'm alright. I'm sure, um, I'm sure there'll be something hitting in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah. We just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins are hide a secret. I'm sure of it! Alright. Sammy, you're pretty unconventional. No, unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Wait, a book? What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck, this week's of evil with scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe, maybe people would just appreciate an omelet? You may not be wrong. Okay, so table. Ah, let's take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so... Okay, I need water. Oh, I'll do my best next video. For sure. Okay. So plush! Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Sammy, no! Don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a moto ruined my nap time, we would have one ring. Okay. Books. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were not but out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What a reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Okay, so did we get everything? We didn't even check on Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train. I'm a man of often... Excuse me. I'm a man of authenticity. Authenticity. Tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. Okay. I think it, if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Excuse me. Huh. Well, what if I had hit the knife? You know. I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can we talk? 
I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Wait, was that right, boys? We'll just continue. Ah, uh, you, you actually tried to bring a knife on the train. Oh, wait, we already read this. Can I take your order? Oh, please. Uh, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more about it. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Sammy. Why would you tease him like that? Ah, uh, and here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Sammy. You made him a fool. Come on, Sammy. Smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Okay. Oh, wait. Wrong one. I need to take a gander. Okay, so this is where the door we came through for the saloon. This is where that door is. Oh, hey, alrighty. Mm -hmm. A book! We forgot to ask the hand. Oh, poor thing, that arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Everything? Okay, cool. Fancy up home. I'm choosing Espio because he was the only one in here. So we have, and Vector has an alibi. So he's the only one alone. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that. I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the val val validity of your alibis. Sammy and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence of me. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon guard, so I figured I'd go check it out. seems to line up with information we gathered from uh, with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SPO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library? Of course he was. Of course he was. I think I'm doing Elvis. My gosh. Can't get my voices right. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Uh. Espio doesn't know you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. Sammy, could you help me out? Alright, Sammy, what book do you think Espion might have been reading? Well, it had to be this, because it's the only book. This one. Ugh. Oh, my foot. A manual? You think Espion was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to su support this? Oh, 
Oh, we got an F. Woo! Math There are books scattered around the floor. Sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked up, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Ugh. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SVO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean it, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SVO. A butcher and a poet, friendship can form anywhere. This is indeed the book I was reading, the Marge Express Manual, the Trains of Cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Sammy, if you don't mind. Uh. <clears throat> Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask why. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to we read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Let's do 14. <clears throat> okay, on what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, doing events they can perform a very variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train could clean itself. Though I have a family, the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train and ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Sammy, hit him with another one. Oh, okay. Which page do I choose? <clears throat> 231. What is the Marsh Express's cancellation policy? No refunds. You will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this one must have been over 65. I know, right? Last one. Sammy, let's see if Espio can get three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? I think 56. What was implemented to support the conductor duties in these general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suit capacities without the conductor present. Now, SP, now did I pass your go test? Yes. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. Oh, it's plain. It's often surprising. I didn't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't you want to be supporting folks who read? You always should support others to read. Books are pretty good. Even uh, even in the in the adult world, we can help you travel the world. But to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to sustain, despite being your truth. Ugh. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. The problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Sammy? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Sammy, thing. Should I be a link to someone who also saw Espio reading the book? Shut up. We could look at it. Look at it. Oh. I get what kind of lock it is now. <clears throat> Shadow's lock. Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. Well, Sammy, let's get our argument together. Think. Yeah. Think. Alright.
Oh no! Well, we got enough. We got enough. <laughs> Shadow walked through the library court to get the saloon to the saloon court where he set the original high school on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating him. It wasn't the high school alone. Crocs are natural games. Espio saw said he saw Shadow enter the library court, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When he, Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon court, Espio was fully seated, reading this book for a good while at this point. Ugh. We know we know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and knocking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. But he liked me that he was reading the entire time is easy. So if you didn't see Shadow return from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then look at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Sammy. One that I would love for Espio to solve. God believe me. That poor demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't know Shadow passed back. The library court, honest. When Vector returned. Oh, sorry. When Vector returned, he even had the tap in the show to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library core? I wasn't. I, I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on or something, but I don't see it. Is Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library core? What should I do? First, let's check something out. <clears throat> so we have table, 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 table. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's a wall too. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say we have to defend him. Because we, we don't even have, no, I can't see what we can do. Because we don't even have evidence to prove <clears throat> that he left in the first place. And how would he get out? We just haven't figured this all out yet. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak cut. Tails! Uh, you have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Let me out. All right, now let's get my thoughts in the world. So good. The library map. Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. <sighs> Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly in the map you mean. Where could SBO have been for Shadow to not see him? Okay. 
We got table. I can see him again. See him. See him. There's a bookshelf. That's a bookshelf, and this is a bookshelf. There was no way he climbed up there. So what to say? Excuse me. If we went on top of the bookshelf, I would laugh. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. Excuse me. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it. Then, you see, Shadow and Astrio couldn't have seen one another from the spot because the bookcase was in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way he would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. Felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! The Lippy of Alibis validated. Yeah! <clears throat> Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. <clears throat> Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Ro Rouge and, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next course. And he must have kept open when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give a heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry shop for you both. A motor is on the motor is on the loose. Our doors keep getting locked. Tick tock tick. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in that detective's ability. We're really doing this. Come on, Sammy, let's see what's next. Coming. Stand, look at all the great bugs a little longer. A mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. <clears throat> all this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Boosh, there you are. Oh, sorry. Fush, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. <clears throat> we visited it. Oh, wait. Train costs so far. No. Wait, we need to end here. I just remember the time. Can't jump too fast. Alright. I almost got started with the next car when we've already been through time. I gave us an extra 10 to get through that car. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it here. We're going to save this. <clears throat> now, remember, now guys, this has been another video of Sonic, who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe now. And check out the rest of the videos I have. I'm doing my best trying to post as many as much as possible. It's been a crazy week. I am tired, but I do my best for you guys. So, I will see you guys next week on Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. So, but, excuse me, throat. I. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check Lady's channel out. Bye.